Hello, one and all. Welcome to the A to K Wrestling Show. Uh, a little bit late on these uh, bit late. reactions but and reviews. I think this week we're going to catch up fast. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Speed Smash round. It. Speed round. So, well, we, that, well, that's speedy. We're not even going to include the pre-show because pre that happened. I mean, um, respect to the pre-show because um, it had... I should, I should remember his name. Briscoe. Mark Briscoe, Mark Briscoe. and the Lucha Bros. So it featured, obviously, Sam with AEW now. They had a match. It was nice. Yes, it was decent. Okay, next. Um, next, uh, that is speedy. So kicking off the show, we had uh, Chris Jericho taking on Ricky Starks. Anthony, what did you make of this one? Uh, better than it probably deserved to be, to be honest with you. All due respect to Ricky Starks. He's proved that he's a talented dude, but I didn't expect much from this match. I think they both delivered. It did what it needed to do. It, it, it you know, it, I'm not going to write home about it, but it did what it needed to do. Yeah, um, I think the fact that the JAS were banned from ringside and stuff like that, the fact that they still came down and things were still a bit, you know, convoluted. Um, but it looked like it was going to go one way. It looked like Jericho was going to pull some shenanigans, get the win. Uh, but that did not happen. And Ricky Starks has got a decent win. And Correct. it could catapult him now. Um, yeah. It's could do. what he needs to do now, isn't it, with it at the end of the day. So, mm. don't know who's going to face next, but a nice opener. Um, and the fan favourite gets the win. Indeed. Indeed. Boom, on to the next one. Now, uh, this one, I liked it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting. Um, I feel like they're, they're definitely pushing uh, Jack Perry away from Jungle Boy. They quite clearly mm-hmm. refer to him as Jack or Jack Perry or Jungle Boy Jack Perry quite mm-hmm. a few times. They never wanted to just call him Jungle Boy. Yeah. Um, I feel like, the again, the right decision was made. Uh, there was, you know, the right amount of suspense in terms of, like, who is he, isn't he, etc. Uh, the only concern I've got, and I mentioned this to you off the air, is is this Christian having a break even after coming back from injury? Um, yeah, fascinating this. So, uh, as we know, uh, Jungle Boy was meant to have a few with Christian. Christian got injured. We had uh, JB versus Luchasaurus for a bit. Cool match, to be fair, really good. But then Christian has come back and we tried to pick up where they left off. Uh, but the way this ended, in which Christian got put in the casket and basically dropped to hell, which I liked, by the way. Yeah. It was a slightly a nice, different yes, spin, wasn't yeah, it? It was like casket match meets, meets Bury Alive. And the, yeah. Oh, that does make you wonder what the shovel and soil were all there for. Well, yeah, to be fair, if it but just anyway. <laughs> does it itself. But yeah, who knows what this means now? Christian has been away for quite some time and then he's come back just to be buried alive. Also, uh, I find it interesting that um, Jungle Boy draws the line at a uh, casket match when it comes to the loincloth. That's interesting. Mm. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not wearing, <laughs> not for a I'm gonna wear pants for this. Yeah, I think going back to your point though, they're really trying their best not to, you know, to kind of ease out of that jungle boy. I thing, mean, it was a gimmick they? that didn't have longevity, so it makes sense that they're trying to stay away from it. Yeah, next, um, especially now he's on his own. But yeah, fascinating to say the least. Who knows what's next for Mister Jack Perry? Next, uh, oh, go on. You can talk about this one. This is your favorite match of the night. It's the elite. It's I'm Black. trying to figure out who's up there. It's Kenny Omega. It's Kenny. Okay. So, okay. This was uh, exactly what it needed to be. I feel like um, the elite are, uh, love them or hate them, they know what they're doing, right? And they are fantastic as a trio. But House of Black needed this steam, didn't they? They needed the win. Mm-hmm. They needed to be propelled like this. They have been fucking dominant. So yes. for them to take a loss here would have been ridiculous. So absolute banger of a match between them. Um absolutely the right decision and I feel like you know what this is this is the right time for them let's push them let's push them hard so uh, I, yeah I thoroughly enjoyed the match quality and I enjoyed the results agreed kind you know what else I liked I liked Julia Hart role in it as well obviously I like that she's being yeah, treated I quite to give it a mention that, but favorably like, yeah, back you know take your point. you can have like a valet who doesn't but she seems like she's really kind of running the she's, show she's digging them. the yeah um, she's digging the um, the valet position and she's to be yeah valet. definitely um, and the fact that it kind of added a little bit between her and Kenny with like oh you know and then he just knocked her off and it was like oh well it's your own fault so it was good it was comical and you know, as we said in the news before, what does this mean now for the elite? Are we going to see the young bucks go back to tags? It seems like Kenny Omega, uh, Kenny Omega is going to go back to singles. Yeah, I mean, the, the, sadly, the lack of trios is the difficult part. I don't want to see this again. All due respect, not right now. Mm-hmm. So they need to go up against other people. They need to to prove their position as the trio's champions by going yeah. up against other people. So that you what, you fight the best friends next, or do we get Death well, Triangle back, whatever the fuck they are? I remember when um, the trio's titles were created and we were like, it makes sense because there's actually shit out of trios. I'm not so sure there is now. Yeah, it's mean, like Dark Order. You could possibly is... put the JS together in some way. JS, maybe. You've got the Lucha. Dark Order. Lucha, what are they called? Uh, Death Triangle. Death Triangle. There's three of them. Best Lucha. Friends. Uh, best Friends. Could you do the Acclaimed with Daddy Ass, maybe? 
could do the acclaim with Daddy Ass. Yeah, that's a fair one. Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. So there is enough for them to have matches, but yeah. um, yeah, I don't know. For me, I'm like, you know, I don't, I think this is probably the right time to let um Kenny do his thing and them do their thing. Yeah, fair. Um, so yeah, good next. Win. New new champs. On to the next one, women's triple threat match. We had Soraya taking on uh, Ruby Soho taking on the champ Jamie Hater. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. Um, I think the right result. I don't think Jamie Hayter should lose the title at this no. point. She's definitely over as fuck, mm-hmm. and um, and rightly so. Um, I don't know. I, I, it's for me, it wasn't like a massively memorable match. Yeah, same. To be honest, uh, the, what did you make of the whole Ruby Soho situation? So obviously, at the end of it, um, Jamie gets the win, and then Ruby's kind of like. Well, no, I'm still going to side with you. I'm still, I'm still a good, you know, a goodie. And the next minute, she turns heel, kicks her in the face, and kind of sides with um, Soraya and Tony Storm. I mean, I think despite how obviously signposted it is, I think it's the right call to turn a heel. I think Tony, Soraya, and Ruby make a really good uh, mm. faction. I believe they're going to be going by the name the Outcasts. Ah, uh-huh, nice. So, um, but they're, they're very much. I think. Do you think they're trying to be the NWO? I mean, the call I think, of the outcast that the to be honest, outside I did is want to slightly, spray painting. I did people. want to slightly more about this. They need to get much better at spray painting. <laughs> I've now, I've not been able to read a single fucking think, thing. I don't think the green helps. Is it, you know, I don't know. I feel like the. I, I, not to get technical about it, but you know, I think the spray is just too wide, so they're not getting. Like, I can't read anything. <laughs> maybe. Like, they need maybe better spray paint. I don't know. Yeah. But I'm like, get what, what did you write? What yeah. did it say? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But. Um, I actually quite like the idea that she's joined them. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think for her journey in AEW, it makes a lot of sense that she would be bitter and against the fans and joining that side of it as yeah. well. So I, I like that. I just think the match itself didn't deliver exactly what I wanted. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I like the fact that they're making like women's stables and stuff as well because obviously they've yeah. got a pretty, you know, depthy roster now. Believe it or not. Yeah. Although the, the belief is still the women's uh, division's yeah. awful. I've seen a couple not... of shouts saying that this is them trying to recreate damage control. What do you make of that? I think you nod to the outsiders and NWO is probably more accurate. Yeah. I, I love the fact that like they've just gone, what's another woman's stable? It's like, you know, they could maybe pay homage to any stable. Well, yeah, that is possible. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Jamie hates to get like, put them in a box. It's like, <laughs> you can only do women things. It's like, eh. yeah. But yeah, next. Next. Boom. <sighs> I'm going to let you rant about this one because I, I think you are forked off with this. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous, right? <laughs> For I, fuck's sake. I've not been one of these people who... Because um, there's been a lot of outrage, hasn't there, with, about mocks and all the bleeding every week and blah, blah, blah. I don't mind it at the end of the day. It's... It can be, it, we've done right and stuff like that. And there's a place for it. People enjoy it. It's never really bothered me too much. This one, I just don't think it... I know it's a, it a Texas death match, so if there's any time you're going to do this, it's probably going to be this kind of match. But I just... I don't know, right? So... The good parts. So, Hangman, I loved his new entrance, his new theme, his kind of new personality, if you will. So, I was a big fan of that. Uh, Moxley came out and was kind of his self. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> Typical Mox. I don't know. I just, I feel like it was maybe a little bit too far with the fork. I feel like, I don't feel they should, like, I don't... It's not necessarily always the best thing to listen to fans because fans are very fickle and, and change their mind. Like, I don't know what... Um, but like I, they've just paid no attention to the fans being like yeah he blades all the time and you keep cutting to him blading yeah. like rather than like the camera not looking at him blading and I feel like they, they're not paying much mind to that and they're just like what else can we stab him with I feel like at some point we're going to have a contract signing and he's going to get stabbed with a pen yeah potentially. because the, they're just that way out now it's yeah. just like well how can we make mocks bleed it seems to be the, the aim of the game here yeah um and i i think you're right i don't think it's one of them we're not sat here like oh, oh it's put me off my lunch like it's not about the blood it's not like, oh this is grotesque it's about the fact that it's like it happens way too much for it to be yeah. impactful anymore i know it's it, it is it's definitely is that and like, i don't want to take away from the match because it was good and fair play to them they definitely put themselves through some pretty bad stuff I, I will the bar wire spots did in you there, see you know? did you see the uh someone on Twitter? I, i'm not naming names most Mostly because I can't remember them, but you see someone on Twitter try to moan about the fact that it's like they're not even in Texas and it's a Texas death match. Oh fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> the comments were fantastic because it's like uh, someone's people are just putting in like best not tell them about Irish whips, <laughs> this is <laughs> stuff like funny. that, like just pure listing like loads of different like Canadian destroyer etc etc. Yeah. It's like yeah, funnily enough, 
it doesn't have to be in Texas to be a Texas. Yeah, he's hitting with a schoolboy. We're not in school. <laughs> um, so yeah, a bit mad. Some people can take things very far, but yeah, you know, there was some really just like there was some stuff in there with like bricks. They literally hit him in their face with a brick. Did a curb, to, you know, paid homage to Seth Freak and Rollins with a curb stomp on a brick. Yeah. So but yeah, Hangman came out of it looking like a badass. Moxley came out of it looking mental like he always does. And <clears> yeah, I'd like to like have a little some bit sort of, of a, lunatic fringe. Yeah, I'd like to have a little bit of a. I don't know, a bit of a break on this kind of stuff now. It it kind of did what it needed to do. Hangman looked like a badass. Well, he's a wild thing. But, mm. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. Anything else Next. from you? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, which takes us on to this. Wardlow, Samoa Joe, TNT title. That's just him giving him a hug. Uh, again, not a bad match by any means. I'm actually just, I've said this to you before we went on air, I'm just annoyed that they took the title off him to put it back on him. Hmm. Especially because we'll talk about it when we get to it on the next show, especially given what they've done since then as well. But, yeah. like, he shouldn't have lost the TNT title to him in the first fucking place. No. The whole thing... And we're going right back around for this. Yeah, and... the whole thing feels really weird. And I get it, Wardlow maybe had a couple of injuries or something to deal with, but, yeah. And spoilers, you know, Wardlow wins, gets the belt, and he's fucking lost it, hasn't yeah. he? and we'll um... talk about that in more detail next time. But... Yeah, he's lost it again, so it was for, for nothing. Really. It was for nothing. And um, I just, the match was okay, and then when you look at the results and stuff, I'm just like, what the fuck was this? Yeah. Like, and the thing that annoys crazy. me most is in the post-match press conference, Wardlow was like, I want to bring back the weekly challenges and all that, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> well, he, d- he did. He lost it on the first one. <laughs> so, fuck's sake. Um, but yeah. Hobbs is going to be like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, as, mu- as much as I wasn't massively into the previous match, I thought it was, it was good, obviously. I think the fans was super into it and then this match following it I felt bad because mm, it so was the just positioning like was probably not the best deflating yeah, like, yeah. almost um, which you can say the same about this next one the mm. tag um, what do you even call it four way I mean tag. I really don't know how to feel about the guns at the moment yeah. to be honest with you I get that they're trying their best to be good heels and there's no disrespect to them at all I feel like they're almost victims to the fact that how popular they acclaimed are yeah. because I, I don't feel they should have the titles but at the they same time, shouldn't. they put. Did you see the um the the letters they put on everyone's chairs and stuff like that? Mm. They're doing their efforts to try and get people. Yeah, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I think they're awesome. I think their gimmick though is very much knowing the fact that they shouldn't be the champs and that they are the little weasels who've somehow managed to yeah. do this. So I don't mind that as such. But I don't know, for me, I'm just I'm like, why do we take the titles off the acclaimed? It still yeah. hurts. It yeah. still hurts, Carl. Well, um, this didn't have to be a fatal four way though. No, it didn't. Um, and <laughs> for the record, we talk about all these, you know, the the extensive tag division that AEW's got and the depth and everything. We had the Gun Club and the Acclaimed, which would have been fine on its own. Mm-hmm. But the two teams you add in are Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal, okay, yeah. and um, Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy. I even I don't even mind if you made it triple threat and left Cassidy and Housen in there, yeah. right? As 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 much as they don't need to be there, it's the Jarrett and Lethal thing mm. that bugs me. I saw someone on Twitter, again, not naming names, but she put uh, about, like, dear Tony Khan, nobody wants to see Jeff Jarrett on their screens. Sincerely, <laughs> yes. wrestling fans. And yes. I'm like, yes, totally Agreed. agree. Why percent. is he here? Why is he involved in these matches? It's it's stuff like this, though, where, like, you can't help but, you know, see the comparisons with, like, fucking old school TNA. It's like, he, he, no one wanted him around then. No yeah. one wants him around now. No one's ever wanted him around. Hint. Fuck off, yeah. Um, so. But um, but yeah, I mean, it's almost unfortunately like they didn't have, I suppose, faith in having it just a straightforward tag match between the acclaimed and the Gun Club. No, which is a shame. It but, is. You know, if and you the are the fact that put, they're not called the Young Guns pisses me. <laughs> if you are going to put two, well, they kind of got the Young Bucks and they got the Young Guns. And you're going to have. But they are literally the where, Young where Guns. Where will it stop though? The Young. They're what? literally his sons. Do they are the Young Guns? They should be sons of a gun then. That also works. Sons yeah. of guns. Uh, so, <laughs> the gun sons. So, yeah, not the best. And the Acclaim didn't win, so I was very sad. But I got it wrong in the prediction series because I uh, that's true. definitely thought Acclaim were going to win. But FTR I mean, came down at the end. True. Well, let's say if you were having the Acclaimed win, the only other tag team that should have won won. So, at least yeah. there's that. Well, yeah. Um, and yeah, FTR are back. Which Possibly for a while. Maybe not. So maybe you'll get your wish of, uh, you know, tag titles not being on the guns for much longer. So... Next, into what the final need, match. What we need really is gun control. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. Found it. Found it. That's good. So, the main event 60 minute Iron Man match. Minute. 60 minute Iron Man match. <laughs> um, and do you know what? It was phenomenal. Let's be honest. People, I think Dave Meltzer gave it 5.75 stars. 
Uh, again, we mentioned this off air, possibly not off air. Maybe I mentioned it in the news. In any case, this is MJF proven once again that he knows how to wrestle because yes. a lot of people, they don't give him the credit that he deserves in the ring. Mm-hmm. I think it was when we were talking about the news because potentially, let's say he went up against Omega, he would be another opportunity to prove it again. He certainly fucking proved it here. Yeah. Um. I This is one of the rare matches where I, I wouldn't have been too upset in any direction. If they mm. would give uh, Brian Danielson yeah, no, that was right. Uh, if they'd have given him, I know it's a rare occurrence, but you said it right. If they'd have given him the title, then I wouldn't See, have been that upset, upset about it. I would be upset, I, but I'd understand the decision. Mm. It's one of them situations where you go, you can't really lose no matter who you put the title on. As much as I think MJF should keep it and keep the momentum going for his title run, yeah, like you could understand the decision and it wouldn't have been a bad one. Mm. You know what I mean? Do you know what? Yeah, I, it might I, not be my cup of tea. I do get it. Would it. have been a bad call. Yeah, I do get it. I think the way they executed it was really, really good because. You had MJF getting, um, in fact, who got the first? I can't remember who got the first fall, but I, I love the way, I think it might have been Danielson got the first fall, but then MJF evened it up because he got himself disqualified, but in a way that allowed him to get two quick pins to mm. make it 2-2. So yeah. it was kind of, that's the exact thing MJF would do, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. Then he got, a, he got, then he got a, a clean pin, um, and, or a submit, was it a submission? No, clean pin. And then, yeah, M- uh, Danielson ended up getting one as well to take it into sudden death. Well, it, in fact, this was probably the only bit I wasn't massively a fan of. So it ended 3-3, yeah. and that was kind of it. And then t- Tony Khan got in the earpiece of Tony Schiavone and was like, I'm not going to let it end this way. And so Tony Schiavone comes, what, like, why couldn't they just, why did Tony, the big, you know, drama of Tony walking down, why not just, I don't know. I uh, I kind of hate the that sort of thing. I think, like, what harm would it have done for us as the audience to understand what happens mm. if they finish that way? Well, yeah, to be fair. Like, you could have just established that as a rule and yeah. not had the theatrics. I kind of feel like that was, like, Tony giving himself a pat on the back. Like, I won't let it end this way. And it's like, thanks, Tony. And it's like, yeah, should just be... just still go, fuck off, no matter. It should be in the rules right. to say if it ends 2-3, yeah. it goes to sudden death overtime. Yeah. Easy. It's like, well, you made the match, so I'd hope you won't let it fucking end that yeah. way. You should have thought about if it ends, yeah, like, on a tie. Yeah. Like... And for me, it could have just simply been the rules. If it ends in a tie, it'll go to sudden death. Yeah. And then none of that theatrics would have... It, it, you just don't need it. No. And I, I think as well, like, you know, the ref got involved in this. And people have got a bit of an agenda against referees in AW saying they get too involved. And I've always been like, nah, I don't really mind. I think um, the, the issue seems to be Aubrey, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean... sort of comments. Th- I mean, that happened as well. Um, but in this one, it was... I think it was Bryce. I can't remember who it was who was refing it. But again, they, they, he kind of got involved and, you know... Pushed uh, MJF wouldn't let him use his fucking ring or whatever, and I like the fact that it ended with MJF sneaking the win by hitting him with the oxygen tank, and well, he's proven that he can hang with him, hmm. but then he still uh, cheated to win. Yeah, so it was perfect. I think the way that they handled it. Yeah, so. I think it was executed brilliantly. Um, and yeah, long may he reign. I mean, I've always loved Iron Man matches. You know, I loved um, well, <laughs> Brett versus Sean was great. I didn't like the outcome. So, if you're going to push me to see which one was better, I preferred this outcome, is what I'll say. But, okay, okay. You know, it is what it is. But okay. that was it. That was Revolution in 18 minutes. Boom. Boom. For like a what? It's a five hour show. Yeah, you're welcome. And if we didn't deliver in 30 minutes or less, <laughs> <laughs> eat to the case pizza. So, yeah, that was our. So, apologies we were late on this, but. You know, we usually are anyway, but this was really late. So, wanted to keep it brief. Uh, so, you can also check us out on Pro Wrestling TV if you're watching us on YouTube. So, make sure you go and get that. It's available everywhere. You can watch us for free as well as all the other amazing Goddamn right. wrestling shows and um, talk shows, what culture and the like. Everything's on there. So, go and check it out for free. If you've never tried it before, just download it. Check it out. It's amazing. You should try it. If you're all a wrestling, the cool kids are doing it. If you're a real wrestling fan, you want to have Pro Wrestling TV, don't you? Goddamn right. Um, so, but also, if you are watching us on YouTube, we appreciate it. Channel is growing really well actually so thanks to anyone who gives us a subscribe or a like it does help massively um i forgot them before so i won't this time make sure you treat yourself to some top rope beers have you tried beer it's delicious (laughs) hi children (laughs) um (laughs) so you can get yours with 10 percent off at topropebrewing.com but as you know they do um amazing beers we've sampled them several times on the show before Um, as mentioned in the last one top rope tuesday will return this week so come uh, wednesday thursday come thursday we'll have uh, we'll be discussing the Top Rope Tuesday that was announced on our social media and we'll be sampling it on the show. Hells to the ears. Yeah. And summertime is coming up. Get yourself some 8 of the K tees from Pro Wrestling Tees, including 
designs by our friends Alt Wrestling Tees. That's a lot of tees. Um, and we don't want to be a tease, cross the tees. So get the tees. Yeah. Dot the tees and cross the eyes, I say. Gotta cross your eyes. So, yeah, another fun filled action packed you know, edition. Um, edition. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Review. But, yeah. Kept it pretty, pretty all right there. 20 minutes. Keep it a lean. You know. We did get to 20 minutes. I knew we would. But yeah, mostly because we're rambling now. Uh, let us know. Do you agree about the full... If we wanted to, we get to 30 with this. McForkson uh, incidents. Let us know uh, in the comments. So until next time, we will say goodbye. <laughs>